even time existed and which can only be defined metaphysically. Matter, energy, and time were all created. This fact, only recently discovered by modern physics, was announced to us in the Quran 1400 years ago. In the Quran, which was revealed 14 centuries ago at a time when the science of astronomy was still primitive, the expansion of the universe was described like this. And it is we who have constructed the heaven with might, and verily it is we who are steadily expanding it. The word heaven, as stated in this verse, is used in various places in the Qur'an with the meaning of space and universe. Here again the word is used with this meaning. In other words, in the Qur'an, it is communicated that the universe expands. And this is the very conclusion that science has reached today. Until the dawn of the 20th century, the only view prevailing in the world of science was that the universe has a constant nature and it has existed since infinite time. The research, observations and calculations carried out by means of modern technology, however, revealed that the universe in fact had a beginning and that it constantly expands. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Russian physicist Alexander Friedman and the Belgian cosmologist Georges Lemaitre theoretically calculated that the universe is in constant motion and that it is expanding. This fact was proved also by observational data in 1929. While observing the sky with a telescope, Edwin Hubble, the American astronomer, discovered that the stars and galaxies were constantly moving away from each other. A universe where everything constantly moves away from each other implied a constantly expanding universe. The observations carried out in the following years verified that the universe constantly expands. This fact was explained in the Quran when it was yet unknown by anyone. This is because the Qur'an is the word of God, the creator, and the ruler of the entire universe.